everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you guys with a another review mini demo what is it first impressions on another makeup palette it is an eyeshadow palette and it is the famous Kathleen and Morphe collaboration this palette is so beautiful you guys um, I just did an actual first impressions kind of demo first review on the Kylie Cosmetics High Shadows in the Burgundy palette and I absolutely loved that palette but I think I like this one just a little bit more this is what it looks like it's so stunning I just love it, how it has a diverse selection of colors she has warm tones she has some cool tones she has browns purples mauves she just has a lot of different colors that you can kind of have fun with and do different looks with and I, that's what I really appreciate about this palette. I did get this today so I did want to hurry up and use it because I was so anxious to use it and then of course since I would filmed my makeup tutorial using this palette I thought hey why not do like kind of a first quick mini review on it as well. So this guy only retails for $14.99. They are being sold only on the Morphe website or in the store if you are located in the LA County area you can go ahead and get it at the store as well this is what it looks like it comes in her really cute little packaging which just is a box that has lights and it says kathleen lights and in the back it has a little description um, of what she says about the palette and then a really nice picture of her so it comes uh, it does not come in the standard morphe packaging this is what the standard morphe packaging looks like this is just a plastic kind of material so this has 15 shadows in it they're great shadows they are just like any of the other morphe shadows they do blend the pigmentation is great on them the shimmer shades are actually really really nice when i went in with my finger to apply it to my lid i was very very impressed with the shimmer shades the pigment is just in the middle it's not too overly pigmented but it's not uh too subtle to where you can't really see something as soon as you apply it so i did ha i did go ahead and apply it with my finger and i did with a brush as well and i didn't have to spray any fix plus on it because like i said the pigment is great by itself i'm going to go ahead and do swatches of these as well like i do with all my first impression review demo videos just so you guys can see the actual a better pigmentation of it. This is an awesome palette if you are looking for an affordable go-to palette that has a, div a diverse selection of colors that you can do neutral, smoked out, whatever. Definitely get your hands on this palette. Love it, love it, love it. If you do use her, co uh, her code Kathleen Lights or any other influencer or YouTuber's code, you do get 10% off so it saves you almost $2. It's a dollar and some change. So this is a great palette I love it and this is the eye look that I came up with using the palette and yeah so if you guys want to see how I got this look and the colors I use then just keep on watching okay so we're gonna first start off by moisturizing our face and I'm just using the Tatcha gel moisturizer and then I go ahead and just moisturize my lips with best damn beauty lip mask followed by moisturizing once again with the glam glow illuminating moisturizer and then we're going to go in with the star of the show the Kathleen by Morphe brushes makeup palette this is absolutely beautiful as you can see I love it I go ahead and start off with the lightest shade in the palette it's just the lightest matte shade I like to use this as my setting powder for the concealer that I used as my eye primer and then I go in with that baby puke color and I use that as my first transition color um, I do go in with a couple more that's why I do say it's my first and then I just start at the end of my eye and kind of just focus it being the most intense on the end towards the middle and then slowly drag it into the inner corner of my eye and then I go in with that kind of nice what is it uh, like rich brown shade and I just use that as my second transition shade, kind of focusing that more in my crease to just give me more depth. And then I go in with that nice champagne gold color and I go to apply it with my finger first because uh, these are pretty pigmented and I really do like the way shimmer shadows go on with the finger just to lay as the base. And then I do go in right here with a brush just to add a little bit more intensity. I didn't spray anything on my brush. Um, this is just the boldness by itself, which I think is absolutely beautiful and I'm really loving. And then I go back in with that same brush and just uh, go ahead and blend everything together. This has no product on it. It's just the uh, leftover product from when I blended before. 
And then I go ahead and take the black and I'm using a more dense flatter brush and I just pack this on the corners. And then right there I turn the brush to kind of give that uh, color more drama on the corner uh, on the ends of my eyes. Um, just slowly dragging it into the inner corner of my eyes. But I want the most uh, color payoff on the corner of my eye, kind of giving it a smoked out effect. And then I go ahead and use a fluffy brush that has no product on it. It's a clean brush to just kind of blend it all together again. And then here I'm using a kind of fat, flat brush. This is going to be uh, my eyebrow highlight color and I just use the lightest shimmer shade in the palette. And then I go ahead and wipe the excess fallout from underneath my eyes, I can go in and do the rest of my makeup. I'm first gonna start off with finishing my eyes off. So I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Mascara. And this is actually, what mascara is this? This is the Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Mascara. And I really do like this mascara. Um, the only issue is I'm running out, so it's kind of harder for me on my lashes to uh, separate. But I worked with it. And I'm taking my all-time favorite liquid liner, and this is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D, and this is in the color Trooper. It's just a very intense uh, black, and I go ahead and just wing it out. It does take me forever to do my wing liner. I'm not going to lie, guys. It takes me probably, well, now it doesn't take me as long because I've pretty much gotten used to doing my uh, liner every day, so it takes me probably half the time. But it still takes a while. It takes me probably about 10 minutes. And then I go in with the Better Than Sex by Too Faced Mascara to go ahead and just uh, look like my lashes and my real lashes are as one. I did go ahead and pop on some lashes. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my face. So I start off by priming it with the Smashbox Priming Water. And then I go ahead and go in with my stick foundation. This is the Makeup HD Ultra Stick Foundation. I really love this foundation. It just gives a nice kind of dewy finish and it's just so easy to blend out. Um, this is probably one of my favorite stick foundations right now. And then I just go ahead and spray my flat kabuki with some charged water from MAC. This just helps me blend everything and kind of give me more hydration. Um, I like to use a brush when it comes to stick foundations. I just feel like it's easier to blend out. It gives me a fuller coverage look um, and it gives me just a more flawless look. But I do go in with my sponge right here to kind of just tap out any of the excess wetness. Um, like I said, this is a dewy foundation, but I kind of don't want it super dewy because I am oily, so I need to kind of just work with me throughout the day. And then I'm going to go ahead and conceal, and I'm using the MAC Concealer. This is the Match Master Concealer, and this is in the color 1.0, which is the lightest shade. And I go ahead and just take my Wet n Wild brush, and I just tap it into my face. And then I do go in with a sponge to go over it to give it more of a flawless finish. And then I go in with that same concealer match master stick, but this is in the color 9.0, which is obviously a much darker shade. I go ahead and just contour my nose out a little bit. Um, I just felt like giving my nose a little bit more of a slimmer effect. So I kind of focus this more towards the bottom of my nose because the bottom of my nose is where it kind of flares out a little more. So that is where I go ahead and just keep the product. And then I just go and... I just go and... Uh, use this sponge to kind of make it look more natural and then I go back in wherever I feel like I need more product and yeah that's pretty much how I contour my nose. And then I go ahead and add some highlight to the tip just to give it a little bit more of a highlighting effect. And then I go ahead and bronze and I'm using my all-time favorite bronzer. This is the Chanel bronzer and this is a universal color. 
and then I go ahead and use my synthetic brush to just apply that. And then I go in and tap out the excess wetness with a tissue. This is crucial because I am super oily and I get very oily throughout the day and I felt or I feel like this has really changed my makeup from just getting more oily throughout the day to just lasting longer and giving me a much more kind of poreless, flawless look. And then I go ahead and just set my under eye with the Airspun Loose Translucent Powder and I have the extra coverage powder and this stuff is amazing and I need to go buy a backup because I just love it so much. And I just go ahead and spray my sponge with some charged water to give it a little bit more of a damped effect. I dip it in the powder and I go ahead and just apply it to all the areas of my face pretty much where I applied the concealer. And I don't leave it on my face. I literally tap it into my face to where there's no product left because that just gives a very uh, much more poreless airbrushed look. And then I go ahead and just set the rest of my face and I'm just using the MAC Mineralize, uh, what is it, it's like skin finish powder. And then to set the bronzer, I go ahead and just use the NARS Laguna bronzer. I love this bronzer. I don't know why I haven't been using it my entire life, but I just recently picked it up and 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 I'm super loving it. So that is what I am doing. And then I go in with the Morphe 9N blush palette. I'm just using those two colors and mixing them and applying them just to give me a nice kind of natural cheeky look. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the under eye. So I go back in with like that rich brown rust eyeshadow color from the Morphe and Kathleen palette. And I just smoke out my bottom lash line. I really want this my bottom lash line to be kind of intense. So uh, that is why I just used that one color. And then I go in with my It Cosmetic No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. This stuff is amazing if you guys need a waterproof, not going to budge uh, waterline liner stuff lasts all day and doesn't move and then I finished my bottom lashes with the MAC Giga black lash extended mascara it is the color uh, what is it I think it's like jet black or, or something like that um, and then I go ahead and just add a little bit more blackness to the corner of my eye to give it a little bit more smokiness and then I take the lightest shimmer color from the palette and pop that into the corner of my eye as my inner corner highlight and then to highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter. It's actually called an Illuminator, um, but it's so pretty, and I thought this was this just complemented my inner corner highlight perfectly. So that is why I chose this highlighter. And I go ahead and just hit all the points that I like to highlight. And then I'm using the Kylie Jenner Liquid Lipstick in the color Dolce K. And that finishes off the look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye. What happened? He left his shoes? Oh no. Thank you. My little girl just woke up, so she decided to walk out. Thank you. I should shut the door.